Aloha C4. You're probably wondering where I got this amazing rope pikakile. Well, my wife made it and blessed me with it. So awesome. And the exhortation that I have today is that the journey for freedom is really designed to be done in the context of deep friendships. You know, I want to highlight the word deep. You know, it's so easy for us to make acquaintances, but friendships where you can be vulnerable and real without fearing rejection or judgment is rare. And in the Bible, David and Jonathan formed a deep friendship that set an example for us. Jonathan and David could have easily been rivals jockeying for the throne. You know, I love Jonathan's heart when he told David, you will be king over Israel and I will be second to you. And this was Jonathan, who was King Saul's son. As we enter into this holiday season with all the emotional highs and the lows and the hustle and bustle, I want to encourage you to be intentional about developing deeper friendships. And it can be someone in your circle, a family member, co-worker, or even an existing relationship that just needs to be reignited. We too often desire deep friendships, but find it too difficult or feel like it requires too much emotional energy. I want to encourage you that one of the best investments you can make for your current or your future spouse, your family, and your friends is to make a commitment to develop a covenant relationship with someone of the same gender. Deep friendships are intentional in the frequency, the depth, and they take time to develop. Deep friendships see your brokenness and yet remain committed to walk with you to freedom. Deep friendships require sacrificing time, emotional energy, and when you hit speed bumps, they're all about His mercy and grace. Your reward is that as you develop deep friendships, you will experience more of the Father's love and the freedom He desires for your life. Let's pray. You know, Abba Father, we just come before you and I just pray that you would take out this lone ranger spirit from our hearts. We're running from task to task where schedules are dictating our lives that you would make it a priority for us to develop deep relationships. Relationships where we can be able to experience your mercy and your grace from one another. Where no matter what we do, what we see, that we would be committed to walk one another into your very best. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless you all.